Color change and full print digital wraps are extremely popular and can be very profitable. The problem, however, is that they can break down quickly, particularly on the horizontals due to UV, pollution, and weather, which strips the wrap film of the protective qualities that are built into it. This can be prevented by the clients by using proper aftercare products, but the reality is this is not the case. This premature failure of wrap film can lead to frustrated clients and installers since the wrap film does not last as long as expected. Very straightforward and profitable viable solution to this is applying ceramic pro PPF and vinyl permanent protective coating to the wrap film when completed. Adding one layer of base coat to any type of color change finish or full print digital wrap seals in the good protective elements built into the vinyl, which can significantly extend the life of the wrap while being maintenance free for the client. A win-win for all parties. And now you'll see how to professionally apply one coat of ceramic pro PPF and vinyl base coat to wrap. First, degrease the wrap with 70% isopropyl alcohol to remove oil from handprints and any soapy residue left behind from application gloves or wet buffers. Next, be sure to apply any custom overlays like letters, stripes, or edge sealers, including mold and hold. The reason for this is once the ceramic pro PPF and vinyl coating has been applied, the surface energy of the wrap film will be almost zero. With the surface of the wrap film prepped, apply 20 to 30 drops of the Ceramic Pro PPF and Vinyl Base Coat to the blue applicator. Fold it on itself, and always be sure to begin with the roof first, much like the wrapping process. Stand on a safe platform that will not shift and first make a 360 degree loop around the area being applied. It's important to work in manageable sections as the flash time is quick. It's critical to work in a cross-hatching wiping pattern to ensure 100% coverage. With the base coat applied, immediately come back with the pink microfiber towel and absorb the excess product. Be sure to use this particular microfiber towel as it is highly absorbent and pay extra attention to removing any excess around the application area, like the front windshield or the driver's side. With the excess removed, buff the wrap film, which gets a true even finish. With one half of the roof complete, switch to the other side right away to ensure that the breakdown between the two halves outguesses evenly. Overlap the coverage to ensure that there is no gap. With the roof complete, the hood is next. A good tip is to prep the entire area with the applicator, microfiber towels, and the bottle of Ceramic Pro PPF and vinyl close at hand, so the workflow is smooth and repeat the same steps as on the roof. A good tip is to work from the inside of the hood out, so there is no accidental brushing up against the hood with the installer. And here is a good shot of how the Ceramic Pro coating can alter the appearance of the wrap film. Though it clearly looks better, it's important to discuss this with the client beforehand, and at the end of this video are tips to ensure a happy result. The main key for applying the PPF and vinyl base coat is to have focused workflow, and be sure to finish each section, like the roof or hood, completely before taking a break. Stopping at a halfway point can cause the product to set up, which can leave a permanent line on the wrap film. With each new section being applied, in this case the front fender, be sure to reload the applicator with 5 to 10 drops. This will help ensure the right amount of product is being transferred to the wrap film. Be sure to pay attention to making a very focused 360 degree loop around the section to avoid excess on the outside areas. Leaving the excess can leave high or low points which can compromise the final result. The roof and hood are manageable sections to break in half, but on the passenger or driver side, the key is to see the entire vehicle in workable sections. This allows the installer to apply and remove the excess in a timely manner. Keep in mind that the Ceramic Pro PPF and Vinyl Base Coat can be applied to plastic. This can help renew the plastic if it has been affected by UV and weather, as well as protects new plastic from breaking down. On the doors, be sure to slow down around the door handle areas to get complete coverage in the cup and on all sides of the handle. Missing area on this highly visible section will make it stand out to the client. This is true not just for the application of the product, but especially for the wipe down. Some sections of vehicles may have recessed areas, like the letters on the bed of the truck, so take time to fill in each gap completely. And here is the sped up breakdown of the passenger side being applied with one coat of the Ceramic Pro PPF and Vinyl Base Coat. It's done with a steady apply and wipe off rhythm that one installer can comfortably apply to the entire vehicle in 30 to 45 minutes. In many cases, this doesn't have to be the lead installer on the job, but the prepper who gets the car ready to wrap by breaking down the hardware and puts it back together during the post-install process. The workspace temperature needs to be above 50 degrees Fahrenheit for optimal results and the humidity less than 70%. The cure time before the vehicle can be taken outside and the client picks it up is only one hour. However, if it's raining outside, the vehicle should be left inside overnight to ensure full protection. The cost of the product is between $80 and $120 with matte and textured finishes absorbing more product than gloss. It's critical to get the client to understand 
the obvious benefits of applying one coat of Ceramic Pro PPF and vinyl base coat to the wrap, as well as to manage their expectations on how it can alter the appearance of the wrap film. The best way to do this is to fully coat a sample piece of the color of the wrap film the client has chosen. In this case, it's a two-tone wrap, so one satin and one gloss. This doesn't take much time, but it's critical to do in order to let the client know that that particular matte finish can look darker than the swatch book. Be sure to have one coated and uncoated sample for the client and mark the coated one on the liner for easy reference. What should be avoided is making a half and half sample piece comparison by applying half of the sample piece with Ceramic Pro PPF and vinyl base coat. This creates a very distinct comparison of the colors and the client may stick with the untreated product. Next, take the samples outside so the client can see them in natural light and compare the two full samples. The difference in color between coated and uncoated is harder to notice, so the client will more likely choose the coated version. This is critical because a wrap that has one coat of Ceramic Pro PPF and vinyl base coat is a win-win on so many levels. Showing the client a half and half version opens the door to them choosing the uncoated one, which means significantly less protection and lower profits, which is a lose-lose scenario. Lastly, it is important to note that the installer should work in a well-ventilated workspace and wear heavy-duty gloves. If the workspace is not well ventilated, wear an organic respirator to ensure a safe application. So with an application time of 30 to 45 minutes and 80 to $120 in product costs, this can be marked up properly to ensure high profits. Clients see the benefits of protecting the new wrap and that it's maintenance free. Wrap shops know their hard work on the install will weather well, and wraps that last longer have a better selling point to the client, especially in high UV areas like California, Arizona, Texas, and Florida and using one coat of Ceramic Pro PPF and vinyl base coat is the key. For more information and to find out where to purchase Ceramic Pro products, you can go to this URL or inquire at these social media outlets. This has been a product breakdown for Ceramic Pro PPF and vinyl base coat for wraps. Proudly produced by the Rep Institute.